So today I'll explain how I connect my worlds, for example, to Novigrad, and how I make it work in game using the start from the Blood and Wine DLC. I'm currently not that advanced into making quests, but I use certain functions, so I mainly use the quest or phase for testing purposes at the moment. I'll also explain a bit about the red game definition and connecting your phase with the main DLC quest. So let's start. So by now you should have your own level, your own custom map. So go to your asset browser and go to your level. Mine is called Linking Tutorial. You don't have to open the world yet, because first we are going to create an R4 game definition. This is a definition that uh, loads your modification basically. So to do that, press right click in your uh, folder and create and select R4 game definition. Give it a name. I'll just call it linking definition. Now open up the definition. And in here we need to set the player template and the camera template first. So for the default player template, you have to go to gameplay, templates, somewhere, yep. And then characters and player. Now select the player W2 end and don't open it. Go back to your definition and press the green arrow. Now the same we have to do for the camera template. And again, it's in gameplay, camera, and then new camera W2 end. And again, press the green arrow. Now this is set, so we have a player and we have a camera for the player. Now you have worlds, and under worlds you press the plus icon, and then the green plus icon, and do this two times. One is for Novigrad, and one is for our custom world. So again, for Novigrad we press this red plus arrow, and then select world. Then we have to go to the Novigrad level, and search for the W2W file. W2W and press the green arrow. And for the second world we need to define our own world. So again press the red plus. Select world. Go to your custom world and select your world. And press the green arrow. This should be set up for now. We're gonna go come back to this later. So press file and save. So now we need to create our own quest phase. So go back to your asset browser, right click, select create, and create your face. Let's call it um, linking, linking face. Now open it up, and it should be totally empty. We are gonna have to add some nodes to this face. So first we're going to start to add an in and an out in the complexity management. So do that. In. Out. Now I'm going to add a pause node. Should be under flow control. And in here we have to set a condition. And I want to use this to check if the player entered our trigger area, which we will create later. So to do that we need to click on the empty array. Press the green plus. And in here we need to set our condition. The condition is called C quest enter trigger condition. And the name is just none. And in trigger tag we are going to need to define the area later, which we will create in Novigrad first. And now we're going to add a change world node, which is under game system control and change world. In here we need to write our world file path, which for me is levels linking tutorial and then linking tutorial w2w. So in here you need to write your own world, so your the levels folder and your world name. And the target tag is going to be a waypoint we're going to make in our world where the player will teleport to. 
Now I want you to open the Novigrad level and we have to set a trigger area somewhere. And I'll usually do this um, when you start from the Blood and Wine DLC. You start in a village called Murbydale. And Murbydale is located under Grey Rocks. So I'll usually just load this group. And load GR4 Poppy Stone. When you open it and go to a building of stairs and double click one, you will be at Murbydale. So now we need to make a trigger area. To do so, you need to add a new layer. So go click on Novigrad, right click and select add layer. Then select under build tag quest and under type non-static. I'll just call it linking world layer. And scroll all the way down and double click it. Right click anywhere and select gameplay area add trigger area. If you don't see this box, this green box, you have to go to view, settings, editor options, debug and select areas. Now let's first make this a little bit bigger. And it's also important that you remember where you place it, so if you're gonna test it in game, you will not see this box, so you need to know where you need to walk to. Now select it under linking world layer, and then trigger area, and give this a tag, so I'll say it's link area 01. Copy this, put it also in the next C node. And I also give it the name link area. So when that is done, we need to go back to our face, so our quest. And inside the pause node, you should have the quest enter trigger condition. Select the trigger tag, select the link area 01, and press the green arrow. Also, you should save a couple of times just to make sure uh, everything is saved. Now we need to go to our own world to add a waypoint. So now I'll go to my world. And again, click on linking tutorial for me and for you it's your world. Right click, add layer, quest, non-static. Thinking world, select it, right click, and then under navigation select add waypoint. I'll just give it a tag like player start, copy this, and on the next C note, and under the name, save the world, go back to your phase again. Then the target tag, we're gonna write player start. And then save again. So now we could test, but we don't have the main quest linked yet. So to do that, go to DLC, BOB, data, quests, and here are the DLC quests. Select the Bob quest. And we're gonna link our phase in the starting moment of the DLC quest. So to do that, press right click, go to complexity management, and add a phase. Press yes, link the start with the phase. And now we need to select the quest scope block. So go back to your level, select linking 
face is how it or how you called it and press the green arrow at the face and just save this now you need to go back to the definition we created in the beginning and under main quest we will add the BOB quest, the DLC quest so go back to the DLC data quest select the BOB quest and press the green arrow under main quest and now let's save so now I'm gonna test what's working at the moment so we added a phase, we added it to the main quest, we added an area and we added a waypoint to the new world or to our custom world to test this you need to add your definition in here so go back to your level select your for me linking dev dot red game and press this green arrow and now if I want to test this I need to press play game from definition and it's gonna take a little bit to load so now it will load all the quests and stuff and also our face I have it set so I see all the area boxes inside this game so it might be a little bit confusing but I know where the trigger is which was right there and now it should take me to my world and to my waypoint which it did so at the moment we have it functioning that we can go to our custom world press F10 to exit but we also want to go back so now to go back let's head back into our face and we basically need to repeat the same process so what we basically could do is just Control c Control v and all we have to do is edit these conditions so we need a new area which is going to be in our custom world and a new waypoint which is going to be in Novigrad so first let's change world to the Novigrad world so go to your asset browser then levels Novigrad search for the W to W file copy levels Novigrad in here and write down Novigrad dot W to W and for the target tag we could just leave it the same so we call the waypoint in Novigrad the player start as well and for this one let's create our area trigger first so select the linking world it might be unloaded so then you need to sh press show layer again double click on it so it's bold and let's create our area again so gameplay area uh, trigger area make it a little bit bigger give it a name again so world change for example and do the same what we did before go back to your face and select the trigger tag have this one selected and press the green arrow save for a second so now let's unlink these two so break all links on the out one add this one to here and now add this one to the first pause so how it goes is first it checks if you enter the first trigger to go to your custom world then it wants to check to go into the second trigger so it goes back to Novigrad then it wants to check for the first trigger so it's kind of looping so you can go back and forth but first we need to add a waypoint to the Novigrad level so let's go to uh, Novigrad open up the world file and then all I'm going to load is what we created is linking world layer so show layer 
and double click on your link area. So you're back in Murbydale. And now double click on linking world layer so it's bold. Select navigation and add a waypoint. And we called it player start in that tag. So we are doing the same here. Now let me just double check. Yeah, it's player start, Novograd. Oh, and the new world is set on AN undefined. This one you can put on AN No Man's Land Novograd. So let's save. And let's test it again. So let's go into the trigger. Now we see the other trigger. So let's go in there. And now we should be back in Murby Dale, next to our trigger to go back to our custom world. So now we're back in Novigrad. And let's enter the trigger again, just to test if it still works. So there we go, but I also want to test this in game, so we have to publish our modification and to do so you have to go to publish, save and publish mod project, give it a name, I'll just call it linking test, the version just write one, description, description, press next and then select start cooking, which is gonna take a little while, so I'll skip forward. Okay, with the cooking progress done, you want to click on install mod to game. And basically that's it, you don't have to save and publish. It's now installed in your mod folder. So I'm gonna exit out and open up uh, my game. So in the main menu you want to press new game, blood and wine only. Select the difficulty, does it really matter, it's just testing. And your mods should already be loaded. So as you can see you start in Murbydale. And I remember where the trigger is, so I'll just walk towards it. And we are in our custom level. And I'll test if we can go back. And we're back in Murbydale. And now let's go back. I basically do this so I'm sure it still works. <laughs> there we go. But to add, um, I use Steam, so meaning this launcher will open up. And under this, you have to enable mods, so don't forget. But this was uh, the video about how I link my worlds. Uh, it might be a little bit advanced, and maybe you need a couple of tries. But I recommend saving your worlds a lot. Because sometimes uh, waypoints or areas, they just disappear. Sometimes you have to restart. Sometimes it's a little bit wonky from time to time. But uh, hopefully this tutorial helps you guys to test your worlds in game. So I'll see you in the next video.